Hey everyone, Asinsko here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm reacting to Kazlo's new EP, Not A Phase. I'm really excited to listen to this EP as I've been listening to Kazlo for a little while now. And I've recently taken a new direction and rebranded a little bit and moved away from... And I've rebranded with this EP, moved away from a melodic pop kind of thing and are now doing more of like a pop punk slash rocktronic kind of thing. This EP has three tracks. One of them was released a few weeks ago called Parachute, but I haven't actually listened to that yet. So I'm going to be doing a full EP reaction. I'm going to be rating each song after I've listened to it and then rating an EP as a whole at the end. So to start it off, track one, we got Parachute with Mano. Definitely going to be rock vibes this whole time and I'm here for it. There's a collab with Sad Boys on this album as well, which I'm really excited to hear that. Loving those dry live drum sounds, can't speak. Vocals are nice too. Sick. Call and response vocals. Okay. See all this drop sounding like. Okay, you got like a chorusy bit. I wonder if it is gonna have a drop. I'm assuming it will because it's like a. EDM kind of thing, yeah, here we go. Riser. Nice! Okay. Very rocktronic. I get that kind of like pop punk, pop, I can't actually speak, pop punk influence with it as well, like with the vocals. I find like the rocktronic kind of thing really interesting because it really is like merging two completely different styles of music together. Like taking that more bandy, uh, punk rock type of thing with like all the guitars and all of the live stuff and then merging that with like electronic instruments and especially with like the vocalist choice as well. Like this is quite catchy with the vocal. I feel like this bit here, I feel like that little build bit is a little bit misleading. I feel like it's going to go into a drop and it doesn't. But I think that's like my only criticism, really. Other than that, I really like it. I'm going to have like a fake out or something. Oh, sick. I love that LFO. Just energy. Just pure energy. Really cool. Like that no 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 thing is very very punky. Yeah, sick. And a bit crushing. Nice, even the guitar stab at the end. I mean, if the whole EP is going to be like that, then I've got high expectations. That was a really sick track, like genuinely a really sick track. I feel like it kind of takes the music I used to listen to when I was younger and mixes it with the music I listen to now. I think off the bat, I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. For the second track on the EP, we got Your Boyfriend's Car with Say You Can Fly. Interesting name for a song. I'm curious of what the chorus is about. Nice. This one definitely feels a bit more melodic, a bit less punky off the bat. Maybe not vocals. Sick. Oh, I really like that. Okay. Drums are sounding really like harsh too. Maybe bring the vocal up slightly. Just because the snare is burying it a little bit. And especially here. Okay. 
Nice. Is it going to be one of those songs that has a drop at the end, maybe? Nice. I, was, I said at the beginning it doesn't feel as punky, but it does. It definitely does. I love the vocals on this. Say we can fly. But like the transition between like the verse and the chorus there could be a little smoother if it was a little bit sudden. You're going to get a drop. Nice! Now that coming out of nowhere works really well. That's sick. Really strong sound. I'm liking this new direction so far. Really cool. Really sick. Muffled vocals too. Bit of piano. Really just like infused sound. That one didn't have the guitar at the end. Still sick. I feel like that one was maybe a little bit more melodic, at least towards the end there. There's a few things that felt a bit sudden, like I was saying about the choruses going from verse to chorus. It felt a little bit strange, but I absolutely loved how that drop came out of nowhere. Like that full sound hitting you like that sounded sick. I'll probably rate that one a 7 out of 10. I think I like the other one a little bit more than that, mainly because it has two drops. Still a really sick song though. I'm loving all of this so far. Now for track three, this is probably the one that I'm most excited for, just going off the names on this song. It's a collaboration between Kazlo and Sad Boys. It's called In love and it's featuring Mika Martin. All three people on this song I have reacted to during other song reaction videos and I am ready to listen to this collab. I just hope it's good. Okay, nice. So what's the point of falling in love? Nice. Okay. Doesn't feel as strong. But it feels a bit more sad, boys. For the guitars. That's sick. I think we might get two drops in this one because it's with sad, boys. The thing I'm excited about is Rocktronic is sad, boys style. Kazlo just started doing it, so this should be sick. Nice. Okay, not as guitar infused. Still there. Feels a bit more playful. Love that like coming away and then hitting. Like I feel like those sort of hits are quite harsh. The acoustic guitar. That was sick, transitioning into it, that tape stop. Really cool. Again, I don't know. I think maybe I want the vocals to be a little bit louder. Although, to be honest, it might just be the style. I don't know. Like there, they're quite prominent. Love the strings in the back too. Nice. Love that feel. Fake out. Long fake out. Oh, nice. Drum change. Bit more drum and bass. Then back into it. Sick. Really sick. See what I mean by it? It feels a bit playful. It's kind of like, instead of it being full on, it's like boom, boom kind of thing, rather than it just being like a consistent thing. It's kind of nice. Guitar outro.
really clean, really clean song. I mean, that was pretty much exactly what I expected, so I can't complain there. That's going to be a 9 out of 10 for me, I think. That's probably my favorite one on the track, but I feel like even though they're all Rocktronic songs, they're quite different from one another, which is really nice. doesn't just feel like it's a copy and paste of a song in a different key with a different vocalist. But yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty sick EP. I like the fact that there's at least two new tracks on there, even though I didn't hear the single that was released before. I love the new direction as well. I think they've killed it on the two singles that they've done by themselves. And obviously the collab with Sad Boys as well sounded sick. I think if I'm going to rate the EP out of 10. I'm going to rate it an 8 out of 10. I'm looking forward to hearing more of Kazlo in the future and where they kind of take this new direction. I feel like there's definitely a lot of potential and they've proved that they can pull off this kind of style as well. But let me know what you thought of the EP in the comment section down below. Let me know what your favorite track was as well. Also, don't forget to join the Discord server, which has a link in the description for. And drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. Well, my name is Insco. Thank you for joining me for New Music Friday and I hope you have a great weekend.